Well, you know, I've got to say, it could be worse. It could be much worse because at least, whoop, okay, well, maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, are we going to make it? Are we going to make it? Are we going to be able to go ahead and ride them all the way back over to our brand new shiny ranch? Maybe. Or we might get bucked off. Either way, it's going to be an adventure. Uh, and either way, well, you know, oh boy. <laughs> Either way, we're going to need to learn how to go ahead and adjust to our brand new life as horse ranchers. So hello everyone and welcome to our Rags to Riches 101 Wild Foals Challenge. Where we are going to be mixing together a 101, like, foal challenge basically. Kind of like the 100 baby challenge, but with horses. Uh, and 101 because why not? Uh, and we're also going to be mixing together the Rags to Riches challenge because it is one of my favorite. Because you start with like nothing and then you build your way up into something amazing. And we kind of need to build our- oh hello sir! We kind of need to build our way up into something amazing because Rocky Sagero here actually happens to be in quite a bit of trouble. And I'm not just talking about the fact that he's currently riding Hercules the horse with the skill of a extremely nervous toddler. Uh, actually, I think a toddler would be more excited than he currently is, but what are you going to do? But my friends, Rocky, he's got himself in a little bit of a rocky position because he recently got into quite a bit of trouble, uh, international trouble even. Deep. It all started off as just a viral video prank gone wrong, uh, very wrong, and well, long story short, Rocky here, he ended up damaging a historical site, uh, causing over six figures in damage, in fact, and while he was being a bit of a daredevil, trying to get that Simsock video up and going for views and likes and all of that dopamine rush, well, not only did he end up accidentally damaging a very important historical site, but unfortunately an elderly matriarch from a very respected royal family from a very, very tiny country went into a dead faint, uh, which has offended the entire country. It's earned him no less than three formal challenges to a duel by all of her grandchildren, and basically he was getting ready not only to go to jail, but to go to the dungeon, the literal actual dungeon, to appease this very prickly political situation. Uh, plus, you know, all of the damages he had to pay for fixing the very important historical site that he kind of busted in that prank video. Oh, we just became friends with Hercules? That's the best! <laughs> but you may be wondering, my friends, but how does that get us from almost being thrown in the dungeon? Like an actual dungeon. Who does that anymore? You have to believe that Rocky was quite surprised by that. To being here at Galloping Gulch, which is so much prettier than I was expecting. Like, look at this. <gasps> That's another horse. That is another horse, of course. We're going to have to go ahead and introduce ourselves. I have not seen any other. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty this is. Y'all, like, look at this. Oh my gosh, I could really fall in love with this area. I had no idea I wanted to, but I really, really could fall in love with all of this. It's also a lot bigger than I realized. Holy camoli. Like, where are we? Like, where are we going? Where could we go? This place is gigantic! Oh my gosh, and who are you? J oh my gosh, it's Ukapanikabo. All right, well, you know, you would expect a merman visiting from Solani to be fishing. Ukapanikabo, you're not supposed to show up until we're actually ready for, you know, the return of our wedding rags to island riches challenge. Just because we're doing another rags to riches challenge before I finish yours doesn't mean you need to come and, like, photobomb. That does fit his personality, though. And speaking of photobombing, are these vultures? Oh, I do hope that one of my favorite modders, Bakey, is able to go ahead and pluck those little birds right out of the sky and plop them right into an excellent animated uh, object that we can go ahead and start using on our brand new ranch, which I was going to dramatically show all of you until I lost it. Because where am I? Oh, there it is. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> But behold, my friends, it is the Sageru Ranch, and this is going to be the site of the, the rejuvenation of an extremely valuable and a very rare horse breed. Not just any kind of horse, you see. This is going to be the rejuvenation of a horse breed that has almost gone extinct. However, it just so happens that the Sageru family has been keeping the very 
very last vestiges of this genetic line safe on their ranches for many generations. Unfortunately, as time has gone on, they haven't been spending that much time ranching and the family grew a bit smaller. In fact, Rocky, his, pan his like, parents passed away when he was very young and he ended up being raised by his aunt and uncle. And, you know, even they ended up passing away like as time went on. So the family fortune started drying up, the branch land started being sold off, and there were just a few horses left of this very, very rare and very important lineage. Uh, which, you know, again, you might be wondering, great, but how did we get from there to like, what's going on over here? Hi, Hercules. Let's go ahead and brush his coat. But how did we go? Okay, that's fine. Yep, all right. Yep, 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 yep. That's about what I expected. <laughs> But you might be wondering, but how did we go from, like, almost the dungeon to being here on, like, the last parcel of the ancient family land with one of the last of the ancient family lineage of horses? Again, the answer is, basically, Rocky's cousin. Rocky's cousin, Nessa, happens to be a very accomplished uh, leader of a large environmental group. Uh, one of the ones that's actually super high up there, very professional, going head to head with a lot of big companies. And the organization has been doing good work through the world. Work that she is often, oh, hey, he's self-assured, feeling confident, nice, nice. Maybe we shouldn't feel too confident about this. Let's clean your hooves then. Wow, okay, this is this is really quite fun. We'll, we'll, we'll take care of Hercules for a little bit here while we talk about Nessa. Uh, but Nessa, the cousin of our boy Rocky here, does keep herself quite busy. She's not able to go ahead and revive her long-held secret horse girl childhood dream of reviving the family ranch as well as saving the last of Hercules' species. I mean, yes, there's many horses, so I should say uh, of this very rare and unique breed. However, that's where her brother comes in! Or, excuse me, not her brother, her cousin! <laughs> So that's where Rocky is actually going to be coming in, because thanks to her savviness, and thanks to her social networks, and thanks to quite a bit of money, several donations, and a lot of uh, uh, effort to make the situation a little bit more politically calm, well, the good news is that Nessa was able to go ahead and save Rocky from going to the dungeon by instead volunteering him to take over the family ranch and to have a role doing good community service in the area by helping to rescue this imperiled breed of horse. So she was able to spin that enough and throw enough money around that everybody decided, you know what? <sighs> Although it would be, oh, hey, hot to try. If Rocky is hot to try, would it be safe to say he likes horse riding? Yeah, I don't think he expected to, but we're going to say that he actually likes it. This is literally his first day with like, Hercules, and he's just trying to find his way to some patch of ground he was told was apparently his to maintain now. <laughs> Good luck about that. Good luck about that, Rocky. Oh, wait, but I do happen to spy with my little eye. There's actually, wee. There's actually a very shiny rock over there that I think Rocky might want to go ahead and pick up because you guys may notice we have zero simoleons as befits the beginning of a rags to riches challenge. Uh, so basically, Nessa was able to save Rocky from the dungeon and in exchange, he is now responsible for taking care of Hercules. Okay, good, he didn't go too far. He is now responsible for helping to breed 101 Bowls. Wait, a uh, rose? Wait, like the flower rose? Pardon me? Oh no, it was it was the crystal rose. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense here. Oh, Hercules is sleeping! Rocky, you entertain yourself for just a minute because, you know, the horse is sleeping. He's the one who had to get you over here. He is adventurous! He likes to seek out new and exciting activities. Yes, yes. But let me, let me, like, sum it up. Basically, that's the way it is. He has been saved from the dungeon in exchange for raising these horses, reviving the family ranch, and also he has to do community service at least twice a week for the next year. Yeah, he's going to need to go into town and he's going to need to do community service. Occasionally, he might even have to write a pen pal letter to the queen, the elderly queen, yes, of another country, yes, in order to keep himself from being 
um, you know, caught up in too much trouble. Uh, who knows? Maybe we'll have a fun twist where some of her family might visit in the future. What if we fall in love with a prince or princess? Dun dun dun! Uh, and doing all of it basically uh, with the wits that he's got because Nessa put all of the money and all of the Ugh. responsibility that she wanted to into just keeping his butt out of the dungeon and she trusts that he's going to be able to be responsible enough she's very big on believing that people need to rise to responsibility Nessa and if they don't well natural selection has its place uh basically if he doesn't do all those things to the dungeon with him and when you add up all of the fees the expenses the debt the remedi the remediation oh, money for the yeah, daredevil the pranks that he was trying to do for that simsock video well the cost is roughly 101 foals of hercules's unique genetic lineage being born the money for you know paying for those foals is actually going to come from a trust fund for the survival of the species and will only be dispersed as each of the foals goes ahead and reaches adulthood and is released to the committee tasked with maintaining the herd once they grow up so there's the the layout of like well actually i'll show you guys the lay of the land it's quite beautiful oh my good gravy <laughs> can i get over here like is there more to like there's a lot more to explore obviously but uh we should probably go ahead and maybe get home so let's let's see let's wake up hercules and then let's see if we can ride hercules back home because we're a long way from that home home on the range let's just say but there is the the background Ooh. to our Ranch to Riches challenge. Uh. Oh, and I should probably tell you a little bit about, you know, uh, okay, all right, all right. Woke him up, good, good. I should probably tell you a little bit about Rocky, a little bit about Hercules, and maybe even a touch about Nessa as we go ahead and go to the last remaining plot of land that belongs to the family and will hopefully serve as the site for this very rare breed of horse. Uh, let's see. Now I need to... <laughs> Where's home? <laughs> We're so far from home. I have no idea where it is. This is kind of amazing. All right, let's get over here. Okay, we want to we wanna go ahead and maybe, like, can trot here. We're not ready for cantering just yet, I don't think. Oh my gosh, look at him go. <laughs> Oh no, okay, I wouldn't be surprised if Hercules bucked him right off again, because why not? He's very inexperienced as a rider, and it's kind of freaking adorable. But there's the gist of it! Just like with other Rags to Riches challenges, we are not going to take any traditional jobs, and instead, well... At least the good news is that our uh, daredevil, and he actually is a daredevil, the trait doesn't exist in Sims 4, but as you can see, our boy Rocky is adventurous, and he's self-absured. And he's also self-absorbed, thus, you know, trying to make a viral Simsock video that basically caused mass chaos. He got in the news, but not in a good way. Uh, he also, thankfully, has a little bit of a uh, fine taste because he wants to become an expert nectar maker. No doubt that will help with our unconventional rags to riches challenge. And in this case, we're actually going to set the bar quite high. High enough because we have horses that are going to help us jump it after all, by saying that, no, 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 this is not going to be a rags to riches challenge with a hundred thousand simoleons. No, friends, no. Like I said, 101 foals, restoring the ranch, and basically we want to see what it's going to take to not only get to that many foals, but also get to a million simoleons. And once we have reached a million simoleons, I think it will be safe to say that not only this very special breed of horse uh, and their lineage, but also potentially, just maybe, like, Rocky himself might be saved if he's not dead from old age by then. <laughs> But, you know, the self-assured, uh, somewhat self-absorbed confidence that he has says that surely money grows on trees and he's going to become a nectar know-it-all. If he's going to have to... Okay, all right. You know? I've got so many questions. Do you have the answers? I've got so many questions about what's going on. I think we might want to be careful what we grow <laughs> in the soil here. What is, who is this? All right, look, look, look. I've got to go ahead and do a friendly introduction because that would make somebody as like self-absorbed and adventurous as like our boy Rocky totally go like, wait, 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 what's happening here? 
I need to introduce ourselves. I don't even, I don't know who this person is, so this is going to be amazing. I only left like maybe five of the NPCs uh, in this entire, thanks. Thanks for that, Rocky. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 now she's, uh, I see why she's wearing so... a suit now. I see why, okay. All right, look, I am, uh, I'm more than slightly concerned about this. <laughs> Even Rocky, like Hercules' eyes are like, um, what's happening here? So, you guys know how much I love random generators, and I'm starting to wonder if maybe we should go ahead and say there might be something in the water here, because that would be an amazing way to explain what this woman is doing here. Like, who is she? I don't know her. This is Celine Lopez. Okay. All right. We don't know you, but you're here, like, in literally a suit. Oh my gosh, I haven't, I haven't been back in our, uh, in our Sims 4 adventures since, like, a year and a half. So I'm like, what is happening here? Oh my gosh. Can we, like, maybe gossip? Ask about Moonwood Mill. Are you from Moonwood Mill? Like, look, this is, this is maybe some small talk. Fish for compliments. Ask about, maybe let's straight up ask about career. Because this is like, uh, like, what is your job? I almost wonder if I should make some sort of challenge where we need to get some, like, fishing skill. Uh, so she is a mixologist. Okay. Still don't know about that, ma'am. Um, but I actually feel like now we should go ahead and have some sort of cool challenge where there's actually something in the water. And we might need to go ahead and figure out what that is before, like, with some fishing skill, before it is safe to maybe, like, put our well in or really to drink water from around here because <laughs> this is a this is a little dubious to me just saying maybe we could make a little bit of a joke about um about like something being in the water there we go and we'll kind of see how that works um and then gosh like stories maybe discuss board mood just to see what's happening oh he, he got the comedy skill okay <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to put that in my notes because you guys know how much I love pivoting to really allow whatever happens in our game to organically tell the story too. And the fact that somebody just showed up in this suit makes me think it would be actually quite interesting if we did have a challenge to remove from somewhere in the environment some sort of polluted something or other that might be around here before we're able to like safely drink from the water or maybe to prevent incursion of some sort of terrifying like I don't know radioactive frog I'm really gonna have to look into this she's really keeping her distance and that's really concerning me I guess <laughs> maybe we could go ahead and maybe just like gossip a little like she's really bored all right look we're gonna have to go ahead and we're gonna have to just like tell fun uh, so funny story how I got here by the way uh actually let's joke about aliens again but then actually politicians Okay, because I actually think it's hilarious. He's like, so you won't believe it. She was actually a queen. And now, like, her grandkids want to go ahead and they actually want to fight me in a duel. Like, who does that? That's so archaic. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. So this is really cool. I'm actually... Ah, she's gone. Goodbye. Oh, that was really sad. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was so sad. Oh, Rocky, that little quiet soul soul. Oh, okay, well, let's get back home then. We're getting a little uncomfortable. I think, I think I'm think i going to definitely say he's feeling uncomfortable because he's like, wait a second, like, what's wrong with the land here? If you're wearing that, like, what's going on? Oh, but it should be a lot of fun. Um, the usual thing with 100 and, like the 100 baby challenge is that you have to have a different um, you have to have a, a different parent like the usually you play as a female sim uh, and then you have to have a different like father for every one of the babies. Luckily when it comes to horses of courses uh, well you know you don't want to wear out a mare. You want her to go ahead and spend time with her foals. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to make enough money and we're going to have to create enough space that we will have plenty of room for our wild horses to roam. And we're going to be bringing in some horses from our patrons and some of you guys. And we can actually rescue horses in the Sims 4 horse ranch. And so I really love the idea. All right. What's... Are you, are you doing okay? 
Is there... Okay, I need to see if I can figure out what's up with him in just a second here. But for now, we're going to go... Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Hey, at least we managed to get off without, like, falling completely on our face this time. Oh, look! Hercules! Oh, this is so cute! Oh my gosh, Hercules! <gasps> He's eating... Oh, Hercules, watch out for the fire ants! Oh my gosh, there's so many ants down there! <laughs> He's eating some of the prairie grass, you guys! Oh, I love it! Oh my goodness, this is actually really pretty. I had no idea I was going to fall so in love with it. Uh, and this is a lot that I actually built myself, just in case you guys were wondering, like, where the heck we are and where what's going on. Uh, but this is the family lot, and normally you start on an empty lot, but come on, we're out in the wilderness, and one of the challenges we're going to face is that we actually are living off the grid, because we're out in the middle of nowhere in what otherwise is I've changed to a national park on the other two lots that are here. Uh, so, <laughs> we gained the fitness skill from using the potty bush. Rocky, I've got questions, dude. <laughs> Oh man, and he's actually getting hungry too. I'm gonna have to figure out like, oh geez, what am I gonna feed you? Like, where am I gonna feed you? Oh dear, is there like, okay, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. I actually didn't think that one through. Oh, <gasps> look at the cow plant. Oh my gosh, there is a literal like cow plant skull over here. Ah, that's so cute. <laughs> that is so freaking cute. But I will give you guys a tour of his home in just a, a Maybe next time, actually, because, like, we've got to actually leave now. I, I know we just got back, but, like, we actually have to go ahead and we have to leave to find food. And that might take us a hot minute. Uh, oh, hey, there's the prairie grass. I wonder if we can get... Can we eat prairie grass? So our lot actually has some special new traits with it that I'm pretty excited about because we actually have a lot challenge called Wild Prairie Grass. And to my knowledge, it is the only lot challenge that has come with The Sims Horse Ranch. But day after day, wild prairie grass will pop up and spread. Are the seeds of this hay yielding plant carried by the wind? Gnomes? Both? Nobody knows! So that's available with Horse, Horse Ranch. I don't think any of the positive lot traits happen to be um, related. I looked over real carefully, but if I'm missing something, let me know, because I don't think there's something specifically for the horses in the positive lot traits. However, this particular Ranch to Riches lot happens to have bracing breezes because it definitely makes for good exercise here. Sunny aspect because Sims can get energized, happy, inspired. It's also a private dwelling because, you know, we're kind of in the middle of nowhere and we also happen to be kind of sort of in between a couple like national parks. And because we're between a couple national parks, that means that we're also off the grid. So. That's going to make things kind of interesting, getting our own plumbing, getting our own electricity as hopefully eco-friendly as possible, because otherwise we're probably going to get sued and be in even more debt than we already are in. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Maybe here, I think there's some here. There's more wild prairie grass over here as well. All right. You know what? Might as well just give you guys the tour while we harvest this wild prairie grass and see if maybe we can eat the hay. Uh, and speaking of hay, Oh, there's a little mouse, yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, we can hit the hay with the only spot that Rocky currently has to sleep. Uh, like I said, his guy, whoa, watch it with that scythe. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't know that, Um, I don't know if I, you know what, he's adventurous, but I don't know if I trust him with that thing. Hey, hey, careful there, buddy. All right, what do we grab? Uh, Rocky has learned about prairie hay grass, okay? What about it? A product of hard work between Sims and Natures. Prairie hay grass, harvested and bundled into a healthy treat for your horses, mini sheep and mini goats. Sims can feed ranch animals by hand or use prairie grass to restock the Hay Now animal feeder. Well, the good news is it looks like Hercules will also eat it on his own. <gasps> Wait, eat! Oh my gosh! Okay, so, I think... Oh, there's so many bugs here! Okay, I think we might have to go ahead, scrounge around amongst the bugs, Let's see if we can collect these insects. And we just might be able to scrounge together enough that we could have roast bugs for our first dinner here. Because we... If, ooh, three bees! All right, there's three bees. And then let's collect some insects over here while I give you guys a quick tour. Uh, like I said, I wanted to start somewhere that had a little bit of personality. So I spent a 
very long time. Okay, let me see. Is there are there any others? Uh, gather water. Oh, look for frogs. Look for frogs. <laughs> Maybe we'll be able to find a frog. And oh, oh, and there's insects over here too. So I wanted to go ahead and I wanted to start at a lot that already had a lot of personality in it so that we could just dive in and have a delightfully fun time with a more naturalistic looking environment while still, you know, having to more or less start from scratch. Uh, so <laughs> I like the idea that by forging around for the insects, let's actually see if we can sell, oh my gosh, can we sell the, oh, <gasps> we can sell the prairie grass too. Oh, that actually turned out to be a lot more overpowered than I thought it would be. I'm not going to complain, though, because we're going to have to... Wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. What do we have left? Fire ants. We might have to eat fire ants in just a second here. <laughs> we, 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 we just might have to go ahead and nom nom chom nom on some fire ants because... Uh, off the grid. Okay. Because... Do we have... We cannot afford anything. <laughs> okay, what about the outdoor stuff? Come on, the gift of fire. Okay, all right, okay. This is fine, we're gonna be okay. We don't have any way to go ahead and get our, wow, why are the freaking, oh my gosh. Okay, we are gonna need to scrounge around a little bit more if we're going to wanna have enough just to eat some fire ants for the day. Um, but, I mean, at least we get to go ahead and appreciate the natural beauty of the, the oh, 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 yes, more insects. Uh, the natural beauty of our branch home. <laughs> but as you guys notice, there's a lot of bugs here. That is thanks to Bakey's amazing spawners. Yes, I see more bugs over here and over here and over here. And because this is the first time that we have come here, there's going to be bugs all over the place. But I promise they don't usually spawn in quite so quickly. Hercules, you are freaking adorable. Look at that adorable horse. Oh my gosh. And I have a feeling that if we're going to have to do things like clean up ah, polluted water and try to go ahead and prioritize raising like 101 foals, even if we do find easy-ish ways to make money, there's going to be plenty of challenges that are going to keep Rocky kind of on his toes, especially if it looks like we're going to be eating fire ants first. But this is going to be a lot of fun, I think, because we're going to be able to explore not only the horses quite thoroughly with 101 of them, but also the nectar making. Since, like I mentioned, Rocky's of the opinion, Pwah. see, money? Tch, honestly, what, what is everybody fussing about? He can get plenty of money. All you have to do is like step on some grapes and throw them in a, a barrel somewhere and you're just rolling in it, right? I think he's going to be pretty surprised about how hard it's going to be to climb up that nectar making because uh yeah i guess the expert nectar making is only one level but make a hundred thousand selling nectar we're gonna to need to kind of look into that just a touch oh but this is going to be a lot of fun <laughs> oh wait 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 what's that oh yes fireflies go for it go for it again uh yeah all of these insects are actually here because of bakey's amazing uh placeable insect spawners which of course the insects come with uh the the outdoor retreat expansion and i think that they're a delightful addition that puts quite a bit of life into everything about the world so we will have the insects to rely on but i figured you know what that's fine <laughs> Oh, and now he's going off to listen to Hercules. That's really cute. I wonder if we're going to be able to figure out, like, if Hercules has, like, a need we're not meeting somehow. Hi, Hercules. Oh, what's the lube? Ah. oh. okay. I think Hercules is feeling a little bit, and a little sage. bit talked to. Maybe he needs reassured. Okay, there we go. That's fine. Yeah, this is going to be quite fun. But all right, guys, I have, oh my Holy gosh, that's a lot of... Susan. <laughs> That's sure. so much manure and we don't even have a trash can. So I guess we're just, oh, Hercules, hang in there, buddy. I guess we're just going to be putting that into our inventory then. Thanks, Hercules. That seems like a good a good place to, to end the night for now. But there you go, you guys. I still obviously have a lot more to introduce you guys to with Rocky, with the world, with being able to actually explore. <gasps> Sims will now be able to talk about social life with Hercules. Also, socializations with Sims and other horses are even more likely to succeed with Hercules. Yay! Rocky has learned about normal quality horse manure. Ah. Made by cleaning up horse manure. 
Improve by consistently meeting the needs of a horse. Because that would improve its manure. Of course. Why wouldn't we want that? For fertilizing. I think that our self-assured, like, <laughs> Rocky, oh my gosh, Hercules is just staring at you, Rocky, oh my goodness gracious, I think you might want to be a little careful here, my friend, uh, but I think our, so, oh, that's a snake, oh yeah, oh, that's a snake slithering by, all right, all right, we're just gonna leave you be, we're just gonna leave you be. But I do think our self-assured, uh, self-absorbed, adventurous fella might look at even having to collect manure as simply an opportunity to go ahead and hopefully make better nectar. You know? Y you gotta- you gotta wade through- wow, he's just getting right into the thick of it. You're adventurous, aren't you? Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> he's just playing in it! Okay, that's fine. It's not like we didn't need a woman who was like, yeah, the water around here is probably not the safest earlier today. That's fine. Oh, the stars are really beautiful. Oh, the stars are really beautiful in the water. Wow. All right. And here is the beginning of our new adventure, my friends. So if you guys could, do please leave a like to toss a lovely treat Hercules' way. And uh, if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time! <gasps> That's so cute! Oh my gosh!